Welcome back to another MLB recap video where I'm going over the best of Thursday's action. But first, we have this Shohei Ipe situation to talk about as Ipe was officially charged with stealing more than $16 million from Shohei Otani, according to federal investigators. Now, to go along with this story, we have some details on his gambling losses and history. So if you break it down, his average bet that he was placing was around 13000 He had 182 million in losses, 142 million in wins, which had a net of him losing 40 million off these bets, and he stole 16 of that million from Shohei's bank account, and the Department of Justice, this is almost a side note because this 325k is nothing compared to the others, but he used Shohei's bank account also and spent 325k on a thousand baseball cards, maybe to resell, so basically, he allegedly lied to the bank to steal steal the money and when he was lying to the bank he was pretending to be Shohei to convince them to approve the wire transfers that we heard he turned off the notifications on Shohei's bank account so he wouldn't be notified and here are some text messages that were brought up so basically the bookmaker he was telling him I'm terrible at this sports betting thing lol any chance you can bump me again as you know you don't have to worry about me not paying that was sent on November 14th of 2022, and then on December 9th, less than a month later, he messaged the legal bookmaker again saying, can you bump me last 200? I swear on my mom, this will be the last ask before I pay it off once I get back to the States. Sorry for keeping on asking, and then the bookmaker responded the same day, no problem, Merry Christmas. So this was actually the not time, though not the last time that he asked him to quote unquote bump him, which I'm sure is just referring to credit that he has with the bookmaker. These bets ended up tracking over a course of two years, and with the amount of bets he placed, it seemed like it was an average of 22 bets a day, which is just ridiculous. And this was a little more recently. He messaged the bookmaker saying, have you seen the reports, referring to when it was reported that he was fired. And then the bookmaker responded, yes, but that's kind of nonsense. Obviously, you didn't steal from him. So the bookmaker was under the impression that Ipe was going to be Shohei's fall guy and cover up for this. And then Ipe responded and said, technically I did steal from him it's all over for me just a wild situation and we have some text messages with Ipe kind of admitting to this now now finally onto the baseball side of things after a little over two and a half minutes talking about Shohei and this Ipe situation that we could be putting behind us now but the A's took a series in Texas over the Rangers and Mason Miller a starter converted to closer hit 104 on the radar gun officially 103.7 but that's impressive to see the Royals are now 9 and 4 third best record in the AL behind only the Yankees and Guardians they put up nine runs on 11 hits in the first inning alone and Bobby Witt if not the front runner he's won the top two front runners him and Juan Soto for AL MVP so far Hunter Brown for the Astros didn't even make it one inning allowed 11 hits and nine runs on 40 pitches the Astros now they have Framber down Hunter Brown's been struggling and they have a four and nine start to the season I know they've started slow in years past too but could they finally be in trouble could this finally be the year where they don't make the ALCS because they have some lofty expectations to get back there and it's not exactly Actually easy to get there. Bobby Witt Jr. hit another three-run homer. He had a four-hit game. He has just turned into one of the best players in all of baseball. No other way to put it. The Mets, they went down to Atlanta and they took a series. So a couple upsets. You have the Astros losing to the Royals, the A's beating the Rangers, and the Mets beating the Braves, a team that has owned them over the past couple years. But now they get a series win on the road and they'll be going back at home because they've struggled to start the season at home. But if the Mets can start racking up some wins, wins then their season can be on a whole new trajectory the Phillies they take a win tonight Alec Bohm he kicked off the scoring with a homer but on the other side of things Jared Jones for the Pirates is so electric he allowed this homer but he also had eight strikeouts and he's looked great to start just imagine when him Paul Skeens Mitch Keller and a couple other young Pirates prospects are in the same rotation him and Skeens potentially being top of the line guys is going to be so fun to watch Jackson Holiday went hitless again but he got two runs scored in this game this was won them. Gunnar Henderson putting the O's on top with a two-run shot in extra innings. And Colton Kowser had his first two big league homers. You're talking a lot about Jackson Holiday, but Colton Kowser, another top prospect, and he's showing out. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's the best from the MLB today.